Hi, so I'm going to show you how to transform just your name uh, into bubble letters. Um, I used a Home Depot mailer to kind of get a straight edge here so I could draw a straight line to make sure I could fit my letters nice and straight. Um, you don't have to do that if you just want to freehand it across or even stagger your letters, you can do that. Uh, but now that I have it um, drawn. Make sure you also draw lightly because all of this is going to get erased in just a little bit. Um, I suggest using a pencil for this activity right that I'm about to do, but I am actually going to do it in Sharpie so you can see it clearly in the video. Um, but you're going to put your pencil down next to your first letter and just start driving around the letter, hugging the turns, but not crashing into it back to my starting place. Then I'm gonna drive around my letter E. Drive around my G. If you touch another letter, it's okay. You can just pick up your pencil and keep going. Now, if you're making your letters super bubbly and rounded like that, that's called bubble letters. If you choose to do sharper angles, then you'll want to do that. I also want to point out that I did the inside track of my letter A because there was a hole inside. You also need to drive around the inside. Uh, and then I need to go around my end, but I'll show you a block letter for this. So block letter has straight angles, so it's flat on the tops and bottoms, as opposed to curved, like these, these are what you call bubble versus block. And that's pretty much it. Then you just go in with an eraser and erase the insides. So it's important you draw your name really lightly that way you don't have a ghost of a letter still showing through. And then I'll kind of get rid of my straight edge back here as well. Now that's the basics for bubble lettering, but to really make it look 3D, uh, I like to add shadows. So I'm going to draw a nice dark line here along the edge and flatten it up. I'm trying to match. So I did the right side of this M. I'm doing the right side of this little hook in the M. And then I'm going to do the right side of this back edge. And I'm also going to do the bottom because I did that over here. So the right and bottom, which would also be this. So right side of this arm of the E, right side, and right side, right side. Um, but we also have to do the bottom because that's what we did on the M. Bottom of my E. right side too. Bottom edge of this hook on my G. Bottom of the A, bottom of the A, bottom Right side of this hole. So I'm ignoring the left sides, as you can see. I'm keeping them skinny. I'm just making the right edges fat. Right side of this leg. We'll call it a leg. 
and then you have another leg over here. And then the bottom. So it's already starting to pop. Um, you could stop here, add some color. You could add a really neat background that's going around. You could hug the turns of your background. So kind of go up into that hook, up. Kind of makes it look neat. Uh, I'm just gonna add some like squiggly lines in here, like lightning bolts. Almost looks like a crack, huh? There. That's it.